It has been 2,812 days since one of the most emotional days in Roblox history. If you love Roblox, but you're a new player who wasn't playing during 2016, you would have absolutely no idea what I'm talking about. One of the best Roblox features in the world until one day Roblox randomly announced that they are removing it. People made petitions for it to return. In fact, everyone thought it would return. However, it never came back. But what am I talking about? And how did this single feature make me extremely rich on Roblox? This video is only going to get crazier and crazier. I am on a 600 million Robux item called the Dominus Empress, and you can see it says rent for free. But what does that even mean? Renting a Dominus? What is going on, Nixter V? Can I actually do this? And can I get the Dominus for a limited time and then return it? Guys, let me just tell you, you might think I'm clickbaiting, but this is is completely real or should i say this used to be completely real say hello to rental items rental items were items that have a set expiration date they were introduced on june 3rd 2009 so that's like 14 years ago many gears did have expiration times not limited to gears but other catalog items they had four week and two week rentals respectively However, on June 25th, 2019 and March 2021, only a few years ago, many of the currently on sale rental items were either changed to be bought normally or taken off sale. The rental details on items does not appear on off sale once. So look, this is literally completely real. It's a gold helmet that I can rent for two months. So all we're going to do is look this up and see if we can still do it. But no, it's completely gone. And that feature is completely gone from Roblox. You've only seen me talk about this if you're a very OG fan in the Nick Army, but you're probably so curious what this is. My transaction summary trade currency, trade items, trade my Robux positions, my tickets positions that we're going to be talking about later. Then it says buy Robux, and you can see it says bucks to ticks, and it shows a spread with a bunch of super weird things. This got me rich on Roblox. You didn't already know Roblox tickets used to be a thing. As you can see, there's the Robux icon. That's the old logo. And then there's a tickets icon as well. But basically what you used to be able to do, say I had 10 Robux. One Robux you used to equal about 10 tickets. That was the flat rate. And you could actually convert your Robux to tickets. But you can see right here, it shows that there's a spread. And what would happen, you would get lucky sometimes where say you'd be able to go in the trade currency and trade one Robux for like 15 tickets. And then you wait a little while, you take these 15 tickets, you put it back in the trade currency, and you might be lucky and get two Robux and profit Robux just like that. I did this for years and I made so much money on Roblox, but obviously it's completely gone from the game because tickets are gone as well. But why are those gone? Are they ever coming back? We're going to be talking about that later. This is about to shock you. If I go to the corner and I go to my settings, obviously I can go to privacy and I can turn on account restrictions. For example, if I'm a young kid and my parents want to make sure that I'm not doing anything bad on Roblox. And obviously you can also have a parental pin where you can only have your parents know the password, which prevents you from like chatting or something like that. You could change allowed experiences. But why am I mentioning this? Did you know it used to be so much worse, especially during the time when I was a kid? because the parent pin used to not exist. So how would your parent know what you're doing on Roblox if there's no pin? Mommy and daddy used to have a Roblox account. Check this out right here. Parent control panel. This is a parent's Roblox account. Manage child's account. So you can see there's a kid right here. His name is Doom Labs, and you can literally detach the user. You can manage him, probably get his account banned. You can add a new child account if you type in their username and password. And there's so much more you can do. So it used to be so much worse than just a pin. So if you little, little Timmy, you're watching this right now and you're upset that you have a pin, it used to be so much worse. But there is so much more to talk about, including my oldest videos ever, showing features from old Roblox that you guys are going to be shocked about. Enjoy. 
This might be the best day of my life. Let me show you how this happened. The entire Roblox community cried when they removed tickets in 2016. So today we are getting them back. As long as tickets have been around, Robux has been around as well. They decided to remove tickets, but they didn't remove Robux. I've been playing Roblox since 2008, and I miss tickets too much to not try getting them back today. So listen here, Roblox. I am done. I want them back. Also for my amazing subscribers. This is risky, so let's look up why did Roblox remove tickets from the game in the first place? The main reason is that Roblox removed ticks. Virtual currency, which you are awarded daily, is because people were not buying Robux. Think about it. Ticks was a free currency. Okay, so that makes things risky because Roblox wanted people to buy more Robux instead of getting tickets for free. And if you did not know, you could convert those tickets to Robux and basically get free Robux. So I guess they wanted to stop that. So if I get Get this working, Roblox. Please don't get mad at me. I love you so much. Mwah. Back before 2016, you would literally get 10 free tickets every day just for logging on Roblox. And if someone joined your game, you would get one ticket per visit. So you can imagine you could exchange these tickets for a lot of Robux for free. But are these rumors true? Before we test out something that I found online to get tickets back, let's ask artificial intelligence chat GPT R. Roblox tickets back and let's see what he has to say. No, Roblox tickets are not back. Roblox discontinued the use of tickets in April 2016 and replaced them with Robux as the primary virtual currency on the platform. Robux can be used to purchase virtual items, accessories, and game passes on the platform. That is what AI says, but we apparently are about to outsmart AI. But did you know I can get them back? Let's see what they say. ChatGPT is shocked. As far as I know, it's it's not possible to get Roblox tickets back as they were removed from the platform in 2016. However, there may be some third-party websites or application that claim to offer free Robux tickets or hacks to obtain them. But it's important to note these are often scams and can lead to account suspension or other security issues. I'm not trying to get free Robux tickets. All I want to do is transform this icon right here to tickets. So instead of 416,000 Robux, I'll have 416 thousand tickets let me show you apparently how to do it don't test this out because this is risky before we try to make history subscribe to the channel if you love roblox tickets okay this is the craziest part of the video do you see my robux in the top right hand corner of the screen it says 416,000. apparently now i can convert this to tickets if you don't know about tickets roblox removed them in 2016 did one final sale released a ton of the these items and then they were gone forever never to be seen ever again in the game so if this is real and there's actually a way to convert this to tickets this is game breaking. Roblox, what I'm about to attempt, please don't ban me. Okay, I'm on a website right now and you can see the tickets logo and this says Robux to ticks. I'm gonna test this out and risk it all so you don't have to. Apparently, if I click this button and then I relaunch Roblox, my Robux will now become tickets. I am nervous. Three, two, one, install style. Just a sec, changing the look of other websites requires our Chrome extension. All right, I'll get the extension. Okay, now it says stylish custom themes for any website. Yeah, sure, let's add to Chrome. But before we do that, apparently there is so much more we can do with this site. Crystal for Roblox, 2016 UI for Roblox. And keep in mind, like I mentioned earlier, Roblox tickets were removed in 2016. So imagine if we can combine this with the other one that gives us tickets back. We are about to try breaking Roblox. Three, two, one, install style. Okay, I am nervous. It says I added the style, so let's check it out. Okay. Oh! Guys, I am ready to cry. All the nostalgia, the old Roblox icon. Oh my gosh, we need to go to the Discover page. Guys, 
We're about to get tickets back. There is no doubt about it in my mind. And even if it doesn't work, this is still so cool. But guys, I just want to preface this by saying one thing. These styles that you can get are pretty risky because someone could put a virus inside of this. I'm risking it all for you guys. So do not download any unless they are very trustworthy. What about if I go to the catalog with old Roblox's icons? Will I be able to see tickets for the first time before I try? transform my 416,000 Robux to tickets. Even the old Robux icon. This is beautiful. Three, two, one. Let's see. Guys, guys, I feel like I am six years in the past. I'm sorry if everyone's freaking out. Why am I freaking out? If you guys did not know, this is literally like going inside of a time machine for me because if I scroll down to my Roblox account, I've been I've been playing Roblox since July 29th, 2008. That is over 14 years. I have no life. <laughs> But guys, I'm not done here. We have the old Roblox layout, but one thing and one thing only is missing, and that is the return of tickets. Let's do it. And now all what I have to do is go back to this website and hit install style in three, two, one, install, added. And all I have to do now is hit the check it out button. And apparently now my Robux are going to become tickets. Okay, I did a lot of digging and it hasn't been updated in over six years, but no one really knows about this anyways. But yeah, there's a solid chance this might not work. Okay, we're on the Roblox page and I still have Robux. That's because I have to go to this extension right here and I have to click the on button Robux to ticks. Guys, I am scared, but I want to get ticks back for you guys so badly. Let's first test this one out that randomly appeared. Rainbow status. And if I turn it on, it literally works. It changed my online status. It is literally rainbow. So now there's one more thing we have to do. I am nervous. Three, two, one, go! And now, let's refresh the page the moment you've all been waiting for. No! Guys, at this moment in the video, I was sad. I thought tickets were gone forever until this happened. Guys, I'm not gonna lie about it. I'm a little emotional because I really wanted tickets back, but there's only one last hope. What if we just search for ticks? Bring back ticks. Ticks header. There's actually a lot of them. Okay, so all we're gonna do is click on this one, install this style, and then this one as well. You can change all of the prices from Robux to tickets install style. Okay, the moment we've all been waiting for, all of this is Robux and this is too. So let's go to this. So this is apparently going to change Robux to tickets in three, two, one. Oh! Guys, it is showing up with tickets and hold on. Now, if we click this, bring back ticks, my Robux are going to change to tickets on my profile in three, two, one. Okay, I clicked it. Guys, this is the best day of my life. Obviously, these aren't real tickets. It just looks like them. But this is an amazing way to fool your friends. Apparently, this person on TikTok has Roblox tickets. This is my first time logging into my account since 2008. Apparently, this is something about Roblox tickets. Last time I played, tickets still existed. The only reason I'm logging in is because people are saying if you haven't played since the removal of tickets, Tickets, you will still have them on your Roblox account. What? Roblox restored my account, which is why the new join date restored 11722. I contacted Roblox and they recovered my old banned account. Years ago, I put something special in my place with tickets. Okay, he's starting up Roblox. I have no idea. Take a look over here. Welcome to Roblox. This is literally a 2008 Roblox default game. Will this give me real ticks because Roblox recovered my old account? Those are tickets inside of this game. Hold on. Okay, even if not, I still had ticks on my account before, so I should still have some. And he's about to show what was on his account. Okay, OMG, it worked. What? Hold on. No, 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 no. We need to go back. This dude has to be an old player because he says, I think it's a glitch because it won't let me buy anything. He doesn't realize that the ticks dominus is Robux, not tickets. But hold on. Looking on his balance, that is the new balance page. Like, that's not very old, but it shows tickets, not 
just Robux. Guys, this looks very, very real. So I'm gonna investigate so you don't have to. Let's go on his Roblox profile. Here is why tickets got removed in the first place, even though apparently someone still has them. Okay, if you don't know what ticks are, here is the explanation. Every single time you started up Roblox, you would get tickets. 12 tickets was one free Robux that you could get. Later, changed to 17. I didn't even know that. Now you might know what tickets are. And on April 14, 2016, it got removed because of exploiters, auto farmers, and hackers. I didn't even know this, and I'm a Roblox veteran. Back there were date, there were ways to hack tickets. I didn't know about any of this. Pause for a second. If you're enjoying this video, if you want Roblox tickets to make a return, hit that subscribe button right now. Help me reach 3 million subscribers. Speaking of things removed from Roblox, this looks like a very normal Roblox gear, the Golden Superfly Boombox. However, it's currently not for sale but you can see i own this item so how does this relate to tickets and how does this relate to deleted items it's not deleted because it's right here on roblox right check this out it says this item no longer exists on roblox but I have it, and there's a crazy backstory behind it. Can't wait to see if I can get tickets back. But let's do some research on this. It went off sale last year, shortly after a glass action lawsuit by various artists and publishers complained about this item, and then apparently they completely removed it. So hold on, Roblox tried completely removing this just like tickets, but I still have it. Let's see if I can use it. Hey, we just equipped it, and I'm wearing a completely banned Roblox item. Item. Okay, I have the gear right now. In my fan game, meet Nicholas77. Hold on. Hold on. Lay down the beat. Put in the ID number for a song you love that's been uploaded to Roblox. So apparently this is copyrighted. I'm not supposed to be using this item. In fact, it says it's completely banned from Roblox. Somehow I still have it. Somehow it's not removed. What if I hit play? Three, two, one. Uh oh. Uh oh. It's raining tacos. Copyrighted music! Woo! Please don't sue me, whoever's watching this. It's raining tacos. Let's go see if we can get tickets now. Okay, the account name was Call Me Crazy 11541, and he says that Roblox restored his account. We have 511,000 Robux, but we have no tickets because they are completely gone. So can we get them back? Call Me Crazy 11541. Let's type this in on people in 3, 2, 1. Wait a minute, no account exists. The mystery is getting even weirder. Okay, this is the weirdest thing ever. I could not find his account on search no matter where I went. I was finally able to dig it up. So is that actually true? Was the account restored by Roblox? I've never heard of that in my life. Restored 11-7-2022. Call me crazy's place. And apparently if I play this, this 511,000 Robux, I will get tickets. I don't know if this is real. I don't know if this is fake, but he literally joined today. So we're about to either bust this or we are about to find out one of the craziest Roblox glitches of all time. Okay, I was about to see if this 511, thousand robux was going to turn into tickets but what is this unauthorized bypasser the roblox hacker is back so before we join the tickets game if he says he's a roblox moderator let's ask him about tickets he sends me this link which will literally hack my roblox account and he says this is an official link from roblox clicking the link will refund your robux on your roblox account your roblox account is being severely monitored Things are only going to get worse over time. Reality isn't what it seems. Your account may face moderation or termination on January 1st, 2023. Things are progressively getting worse over time and will be over the next couple of days to weeks. Creek is in danger. You are in danger. We have decided to permanently terminate your Roblox account on January 1st. Your items will also be refunded. Decision is final. Your Roblox account has faced many vulnerabilities and is not safe for continuing use. Enjoy your last 57 days on Roblox.
Then he says Roblox is shutting down on January 1st. Okay, I messaged him. Do you know if Roblox tickets are coming back? Enough of these distractions. Let's see if we can get tickets. Joining inside of this place, I have not seen tickets since 2016. All right, here we go. We are loading up. Please work. Please work. That would be insane. Guys, I've been playing Roblox since 2008, so Roblox tickets are part of basically my childhood. I remember tickets so much i remember getting tickets every single day all right here is the game there are tickets right over here here is the happy home of robloxia guys if you haven't played roblox in 2008 you wouldn't understand this is what roblox used to be like this was a default game it was so simple but it was so amazing and you could build inside of these games this is your starting house it's empty and this is what the roblox catalog looked like a widescreen tv with a remote control that is how old this game is so maybe there's a chance that it's actually restored who knows but i'm so excited i'm doing this for you guys so you don't have to my amazing subscribers before we get the tickets please subscribe if you are new around on this channel in three two one okay all right, we are definitely, definitely getting tickets right now. I don't know if they're going to go inside of my account. I don't know what's about to happen, but we're testing this out. And I am so excited. All right, all of these tickets right now. I think that should be enough. And all we're going to do, let's go to my balance and let's see what happens. Okay, here is my Robux. 511,000 Robux. But if you go to my balance page, that's what we want. Let's go right here. No, my balance and it doesn't show tickets whatsoever. This sticky note has my Roblox account, username, and password to an account over a decade old. And today, we're gonna be logging into that account, seeing how much Robux it's worth. Because if you did not know, many of the oldest Roblox accounts in the world are now worth millions of Robux just because of how rare some of the items are. I completely forgot the Roblox account on the sticky note even existed. This account could be hacked. This account could be banned. Or worst of all, this account could be missing. If you look at my Roblox account, Nicholas77, I joined on July 29th, 2008, which is over 15 years ago. However, this isn't my oldest Roblox account ever. Five years ago, I found Bob757, an account even older than Nicholas77. Over the last 15 years, I've made over 50 Roblox accounts, though. So is this mystery account on my sticky note even older than Bob757? How rare are these items? How much money can I make? Let's take this handwriting from 2008, plug it into Roblox. This this is gonna be a very emotional video. But this gets even crazier because on my phone, I found a note document with five of my rarest Roblox accounts. Accounts that I have also forgotten. This account on the sticky note is the rarest one out of them all that we're gonna be saving. This list starts with the classic Bob757. I have not signed into this account in so long and people have been commenting saying my account got hacked. This is even rarer than Nicholas77. Three, two, one, and we are are into this rare account for the first time in probably almost a year. But before finding my rarest account of all time, it is so good to be back on this account, even older than Nicholas77. I joined on the same day, and I was number 736,565 to join. While I joined on Nicholas77 right after, and I was 736,588. But I'm not emotional yet because I found this account five years ago. This Let's was one, this one of the best <gasps> days oh my of God. my life. We're in. <gasps> I was okay. so happy. Okay. But I'm looking for something even in. crazier today. I just today. remembered a password I made when I was like seven. I just remembered a password I made when I was like seven. And this video is five years old. So could this password be for an account even older? You might see me cry today. But to start things off, this account is worth 3,000 Robux. And if I go to my avatar on this extremely rare account, we have only one limited item, which would profit me 450 Robux. But I'm looking for something a whole lot more profitable. From all the accounts I've made on this list, 
list. On top of this sticky note, I assume I could be making a million Robux worth of lost items today. Stick around because you might see me cry. But let's log off and let's say hello to account number two. These accounts are only getting rare, but my issue is I don't remember the password. Account number two is named Chill Bloxia, and I have never talked about this. Oh my gosh, there it is. I remember making this avatar when I was like six years old. This account could very well be older than Bob757, older than Nicholas77. This account could be worth millions. Let's go to the profile right now. And oh my gosh, it only has 14 followers. I'm getting emotional because I remember making this. But when was this account made and can i sign into it right now before you guys see me cry on camera i just have one request i'm so close to reaching 3 million subscribers so please subscribe to the channel and enjoy me cry if i get on this account these are every single one of my games that i made back in the day snow has come to the town of robloxia and it was created on may 10th 2009 i was only eight years old but how old is this account let's first play this game okay i gotta sign in in order to play my own game i hope i remember the password chill bloxia let's attempt password number one the same one on this sticky note because i was eight years old and obviously do you think an eight-year-old is smart enough to make multiple passwords for multiple accounts i would say absolutely not so maybe this will work come on no no okay i just entered another longer password and it's making me do a verification i might be able to get onto this account and literally i'm gonna cry i am going to cry if i get in use the arrows all right we just gotta match it please please come on no okay i don't think i'm ever getting onto this account again but here's the thing, this sticky note to one of my other rarest accounts ever, an account I don't even remember, has the password right here. I can literally get it on it later, and I'm going to cry. I was getting emotional looking at this account, but when was it created? May 10th, 2009, and oh my gosh, it has a limited item that I will never be able to get back. Roblox, if you're watching this, please help me, but how much is this worth? It's already 1,770 Robux on top of the 450 from Bob757. But oh my gosh, I really hope I can get into this account. Account number three, if you haven't been a longtime Nixter V subscriber, you would never have heard of Place Tester 305. This is another one of my rarest accounts in the world. I like typing upside down. I have 149 followers, and this was a relatively successful Roblox account. And just as I thought, it was made on September 26, 2009, a little newer than the other account, but here's the issue. You. I have another limited item on this account. I am getting scared with how many limiteds that I have completely lost because if you guys did not know, this Roblox account was hacked. I'm not even going to try logging into this account, but how much is this limited worth? And if I have so many limiteds, how much is this one going to be worth? Three, two, one, another 400 robux i'm almost 2000 robux worth of limited items that i can't even keep because my oldest roblox accounts in the world were hacked or the passwords were changed or i just forgot the passwords if you thought bob 757 was cool say hello to bill 853 this is a group owned by my brother's roblox account taken over by me when i was probably 10 years old yeah that's right i stole the group this account also joined July 29th, 2008, just like Nicholas77, just like Bob757. But I don't know if this account is even mine. I don't remember making it. But here's the thing. The account name on this sticky note is Bill854. One digit off of Bill853. 
And I am very scared because I don't remember making this Roblox account either. I have never talked about it. Are we about to become a Roblox millionaire? Does Bill 854 exist if I go to people? And oh my gosh, there it is. Bill 854. I kind of remember this account though. I did some digging. I'm super confused now because this is Bill 854 on an old Roblox game. This was years ago. I don't know if the account was hacked and a few years ago when I was playing recording this footage, I forgot that this account was originally mine. I would have never known unless it was for this sticky note, but why would this account have gotten hacked? How much were the items worth? And can I sign in? Okay, the moment of truth. I am going to cry if this works. Come on, please. Please. Oh my gosh, I got the right password. Oh my gosh, I got the right password. Enter the code we just sent you via email. Hold on. There's a big issue. There is a big issue. I'm looking at my phone and I didn't get an email. Guys, this code was sent to an email I closed down as a child. I'm not gonna be able to log in, but it's even on this account. If you go to my inventory, I have the Knight of the Blood Moon, which in my opinion is a very rare hat. It could go limited one day and be worth thousands, if not a hundred thousands of Robux. I think I'm gonna throw up. Guys, if you're watching this, I think I'm gonna cry. After 19 years of being terminated from Roblox, he is finally back. How is that even possible? And who am I talking about? If someone joined Roblox in 2004 and they ended up getting banned 19 years ago, never getting unbanned, they must have done something pretty terrible, right? If you get banned for a few days on Roblox and then the ban expires, you have an option to reactivate your account. But when you're banned for life, there is no option. You will simply never be able to log back in again. But this account had other ideas. This is the first account to ever get banned in Roblox history. You all know who this account is, and you probably never thought they would be back. Before I show who's back on Roblox after 19 years of being banned, the craziest Roblox glitch is officially here. I want you right now to look all through my Roblox profile and tell me if you notice anything weird. Spaces in my username. And now I just changed it to say my name is Nick. This is my Roblox account name, and you're probably wondering, how on earth do I have spaces in my username? I'm about to show you the craziest Roblox glitch of all time. This is a full list of all Roblox accounts that have spaces in their usernames, and you will see that all of these accounts are from 2006, because usernames with spaces were disallowed after 2006. For example, this account named Warrior King. You can see it's a default Roblox account. It's a a veteran and when you scroll down it joined in also 2006. It was very common 17 years ago that you would literally be able to sign up for Roblox and name your account whatever you want. Roblox allowed spaces but now when you go to make a Roblox account they simply do not allow that until today. So all I'm gonna do is log out of Roblox. Let's sign up and make a brand new account and add spaces with a crazy glitch that Roblox will definitely remove soon. And speaking of old Roblox accounts, later in the video we have to talk about a Roblox player who has been banned for 19 years and finally made a return. Should you be worried? This is the craziest video I think I've ever made in a long time. Okay, so if I go to sign up for Roblox and I type in my birthday, if you did not already know, I'm only 22 years old. I know it looks like I'm about 40. Speaking about things that are really old, you will not believe the Roblox player that has returned. I know I keep mentioning it, but everyone remembers him. All I'm going to do is make my account spaces in username. As you can see, it says usernames may only contain letters, numbers, and underscores. It's basically telling you, obviously, like I already mentioned, ever since 2006, you're not allowed to have spaces in your Roblox account username. But this all changes today. For now, we're just going to remove this. This username is not appropriate for Roblox because they really don't want people to have spaces in their username. Say hello to my brand new account. I will glitch Roblox. Apparently we can now get spaces. So looking at that article I just showed with a bunch of accounts only in 2006, am I just lying? Where are the new accounts with spaces? All I'm going to do is look up the account exterior easy, just like that. And
and you will see there is a space. The first account is named Exterior, most likely from 2006, but when you scroll down, Exterior Easy. Now you're probably thinking this is another Roblox account named in 2006. It seems pretty inactive, but then you'll notice it's a bacon hair, which did not exist in 2006. And when you scroll down on this account, say hello to an account created on October 14th, 2023. And on the day I'm recording this, that is three days ago because this glitch is brand new. It gets even crazier when I click on his friends list. Take a look at some of these accounts doing this glitch. Account number one is named Content Deleted 581262. We have David Bazuki. We have Hi, an account named TF, Bobby Pro, Guest 1337, John Doe. It only continues. Space in display name. This is clearly an insane glitch. Apparently, what's actually going on, if you go to the top right hand corner of your settings you have a username and then you have a display name if you go to change your display name and then you add a space just like this it says display name contains unsupported characters there is a glitch to actually bypass this apparently it's a new roblox feature that's about to roll out but it's accidentally being released to a set of Roblox accounts. I spammed making accounts trying to get the new update with spaces in the display name, and I finally got one. This person did no glitch. They just kept making accounts, which is an insanely crazy glitch, but either way, this is gonna be out very soon. But what about the Roblox account banned and gone for 19 years that has finally returned? If you did not already know, this is not the first ever Roblox account. If you look at the top it says users one meaning it's the first account ever but this is a complete lie if you get banned from roblox or you get a warning and then the ban expires you'll see in the bottom there's a screen that says reactivate my account you have to read the guidelines and then agree to them however if you get banned forever on roblox there is just a log out screen there is never an option to reactivate your account and once you're gone there is no coming back that is unless you are this roblox account looking very in Innocent. Banned for life, but he's back. What? Here is footage of the real first Roblox account ever named Admin. This account was created in 2004 and the ID was later changed to 18. So Roblox could be ID number one. Now this person is using a Roblox extension to be able to go to any banned Roblox accounts profile. Now here's the thing. This video is a few months old and the account was last online 17 years ago. The account has seven friends, which probably hasn't changed since 2000. 2006. Now here's where the story gets crazy. If I type in admin and I go to people, the account is nowhere to be found because like I already said, the account is terminated. But if this is the first Roblox account ever, why would Roblox want to ban their own account? Because this was an account literally made by Roblox themselves. We all know about the Roblox moderation system. If you break the rules, your account gets deleted. This account was created 19 years ago and Roblox's goal was to solely create this account just to test how it works, to log into the first ever accounts, make sure login pages work, and to also see what it's like to ban an account and make sure they can stay banned. But that is where this story all changes today, because if you look up admin on people, he still doesn't show up, but something insane happened. This is a Roblox site where you can see banned profiles. It says admin. This player's account has been terminated. You can see all of his limited items. Items. You can see his friends, but tell me when you notice it. Last online 13 days ago, meaning that this Roblox account that is banned for life was just logged into. So what is going on with the Roblox account? What is going to happen? This is user number one. And like I said, admin was changed to 18 in around 2004 or 2006. And when you go to the profile, it is indeed completely gone. So is Roblox planning on retiring the Roblox account itself and re-adding admin back to user number one 19 years later? The truth is, I have absolutely no idea. But comment down below your theories, guys. Guys, the day has come. Something I have never shown you in the last 15 years is finally happening. Let me tell you exactly what I mean. On my Roblox profile, obviously, I've been playing the game since July 29th, 2008, almost 
15 years and have only told you guys about the amazing times I've had getting a Roblox Dominus. But what you don't know about is my past on Roblox. From my bands to really, really crazy things you guys probably shouldn't know. This all relates to my Roblox messages. That's right, you can see I have a 500 friend request, which is the limit. I have 380,000 followers, so I'm sure I would have a lot more than 500 friend requests. Thank you to the Sandbox for sponsoring today's video. I'm also giving away an iPhone or $1,000 in Robux and more to three lucky viewers, so stay tuned to find out more. The Sandbox is the world's largest Web3 multiplayer game where you can create an avatar and interact with over 300,000 players. Trusted by over 200 of your favorite brands such as Snoop Dogg, Steve Aoki, The Walking Dead, FaZe Clan, and Tony Hawk. My favorite experience from past seasons was definitely Tony Hawk because he's planning on building a huge skate park experience. There is a lot of childhood nostalgia for especially me. There's also a ton of UGC content. You could build high quality escape rooms, dungeon crawlers, or even a whole new world. If you just use my link to create an account, sign up, start completing quests, and the more quests you do, the more entries to this amazing giveaway you get. If you complete at least one quest, you get a limited edition selfie stick with my name on it. That's only a silver one. 90 people will get the gold one and 10 people will get the ultra rare diamond selfie stick. Contest ends March 1st, so click the description. Over 10,000 downloads and me, Nickster V, will get my very own NPC. And two tickets, you and me, for a Snoop Dogg concert in the sandbox. Thank you, Sam. Box for sponsoring today's video. But if you look at my messages, over the last 15 years, I have gotten 150,000 messages on Roblox. Yeah, it's pretty impressive considering I have no friends in real life and I never touch grass. Okay, so all we're going to do is do something I should not do because I I am going to be very, very embarrassed. You look at my messages right now. There's the inbox, sent, news, archive. Oh gosh, I do not want to see my past sent messages. And I'm sure you guys don't either. There are 7,000 pages of my Roblox messages. And the worst part is I never read my Roblox messages. So let's start with page number one. And let's just say, when we went to page 7,709 and even messages around that time, they were really bad and you guys are gonna hate me. Okay, it's only fitting to start with message number one. What does this say? He is back. Yes, you heard me right. He is back back who is he is he talking about a roblox hacker i have absolutely no idea hi i'm a big fan cat thank you so much but um you're probably not going to be a huge fan when we go all the way to this button and click on message 7709 account in danger hello nicholas 77 i just want you to know that your account is in danger if you want your account to be safe please press this link it is a censored link. He probably tried destroying my Roblox account, completely hacking it. This is just named like that, so Roblox won't know that. It's to keep your account safe. See you later from one by one by one by one. Oh my gosh, the stuff I never see when I don't click on my messages. Before we start going forward and then go to our first ever Roblox message, what is this? Unnamed, join it and it's a roblox link to a game named unnamed do i join it am i going to lose my roblox account let's join it for my amazing subscribers i risk my roblox account every day for you guys so you better subscribe okay if you don't know you should never click on random roblox links so all we are going to do is copy the id of the game itself without clicking on this link go to a random roblox game and look at this if we just copy this and paste it in this is the exact game he wants me to join question mark question mark question mark it has zero visits it was updated two days ago and all it says is red 
Do we want to join inside? I don't want to get hacked, so personally, I'm not going to join it. But comment down below if you, any of you guys end up playing it. You probably shouldn't, though. Okay, the moment we've all been waiting for. If we go to page number two, as you can now see on the top of my screen, it shows what page I'm on. So, for example, if I type in page 7000, it will bring me exactly to whenever this day was. But before we do that, let's go to page a hundred. Oh my gosh. Page a hundred was only six days ago and it is someone spamming me. This looks like a Roblox hacker and I should not click on this link. How long does this go for though? Oh my gosh. I am scared to see what's on page 7,709 and it keeps on continuing what if we now go to page a thousand this might be years and years ago three two one page a thousand is the same guy from only about a week ago how many messages is he sending to me what about page two thousand it's the same guy from a almost a month ago i am a real hacker i am glitch boss this is my alt account i used to avoid my main getting terminated search glitch boss on google all right guys we are going to do this right now what happens if we search this up glitch boss roblox wait a minute what is this roblox creepy pasta wiki roblox is a hacker he's not famous like the others but he can easily ban your account how about page 3000 we're gonna get pretty deep soon okay okay here we go october 16th 2022 roblox has flagged your roblox account for false items found in your account we're planning on removing all your roblox items within two weeks this is due to violating our terms of use if you continue to violate your account may face termination if you guys didn't know this is the january 1st hacker on his original account but if we go to his page it's still there but it is content deleted and what's crazy if you go to page 3001 3002 it just keeps on continuing but what about page 4000 three two one okay guys this is july 6 2022 almost a year and a half ago and you can see these are only trades because i disallowed anyone to message me because of the exact same reason right now so many hackers trying to message me but before that there's some embarrassing ones i am scared to do this page five thousand okay it's still the same thing just a ton of messages let's go to page six thousand oh my gosh this is now two years ago hi i'm drooney can you give me robux please Comment down below, should I give him Robux for being a longtime fan? H how do you even donate Robux anyways? I don't even know. Two years ago? Hey man, we joined Roblox the same year and I see you're still friends with Bob757. I have the same avatar as him and I'm wondering if you can add me. We're both OGs. Let's check out this guy's profile. From September 26, 2008, this man is an OG, but these messages are about to get very, very bad. We are going to go to page 7,000. Oh my gosh. December 9th, 2018. That's like four and a half years ago. If you're a new subscriber, if you haven't known, ever since I joined Roblox, I've been dealing with hackers. Hey, next review, one question. Don't join Project Zorgo. They are a hacking group. And this is from five years ago. But what if we join to page 7,700 right when I joined Roblox? Three, two, one oh my gosh this is from when roblox tickets still existed i need a job can you give me one i will work for one robux a day or three tickets a day you moron i am noah's friend i was just kidding let's go to his roblox profile and this man's roblox account is like banned but not actually banned because his avatar is gone well, what about page 7709 i am very scared okay all we have to do is go all the way 
it to the end. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Guys, I forgot about this. Builderman messaged me on Roblox 13 years ago. I told him I was having an issue on Roblox. Dear Nicholas 77, I could not recreate this problem. I could hear the Bloxy Cola even zoomed all the way out. Maybe it's just in one game you are playing. Thanks, Builderman himself. Oh my gosh. Look at this. 70 million followers. You are about to meet the oldest Roblox hacker in history that has been completely wiped from the internet. And he is not good. We were able to find footage from 13 years ago. What he did on Roblox will absolutely shock you. Before I show you hacker footage you have never seen on all the Roblox, let's go back to where this all started and why this hacker was apparently so bad. If you go to type in his name on search, since he's the oldest hacker in the world, he is completely gone. He's nowhere to be found. But what if I told you I can get on his profile? You do not don't want to miss this. You are watching this. Subscribe to the channel to stay safe against Roblox hackers. All we're going to do is log out of Roblox. And I'm about to do something I am 100% going to regret. Just start by making a normal Roblox profile. This is my birthday if you did not know. I'm 21 years old. And from the video itself, you can see his name is Noli. He looks pretty normal, but no, he doesn't. His profile picture is just a question mark. Location, last seen, everyone else. In old Roblox, it used to say when they were last online, but his was a question mark so his name is noli the reason we're about to make a new account is because soon after noli was banned his name became glitched on the roblox login page let's check this out when a user tries to make a new account and names the account noli it won't say that it's taken instead it would just show an error and wouldn't let you make the account it's almost like it's a glitched roblox hacker this is so creepy the reason for this occurrence is still unknown i have never seen a message like this in my life and i've been playing roblox since 2008 so let's see what happens are we going to get hacked three two one n o l i oh wait what it doesn't let me sign up because now it says this username is already in use. But what happens if we go to his profile? You're probably wondering, how am I going to do this? If you type in Noli as we already did, he is nowhere to be found. Check this out. This is probably going to be the worst idea of my life. Because apparently he's on Roblox to this day. If you go down to, there's someone named, I don't even know how to read this. And apparently it's his alt account. You can see it says Noli and then some weird text. His place written in Morse code translated unnamed place is where the two people got lost. Who are these two people? Let's go to his profile. Okay, you can see it shows his exact name right here. Does it still exist? This is the exact name. Three, two, one. Come on. Okay. The account is also completely banned, but there are so many other accounts. Who knows if this could be the real one? This is literal footage from 2010 on his profile. What is this is very strange you can see the name of the place is extremely creepy but what happens 400 visits in this place when you look at the comments on this game it is not good we're gonna try accessing this game in the video at the end of the video from 2010 it is said noli will come back to wreak his havoc on roblox be prepared my good friends and this is warning us 13 years ago wait a minute what is this he was online 21 days ago also he made a game in 2019 it says it literally right here last online 21 days ago 
before we try going to this place, let's learn some more information about Noli. Okay, all right, what are we in for? One of the oldest Roblox hackers in the world. Joined in 2008 just like me. He was a ghost of a Roblox developer. There were also two groups that were worshiping Noli. The Cole family and the Void Cult. What? Their groups were known for they hacking, were known for hacking groups and accounts and the all in 2008. Even tried to hack Flamingo back in 2019. Flamingo in 2019. Right. Well, it feels like it, okay? That could make sense because we just found out he updated his game in 2019. Only also, also had a game, had a game on, on Roblox, Roblox where, where if you stayed, stayed in for too long, long Noli would get upset. And oh he would try my to gosh, Noli is not but a nice still guy. Stayed in the game. Noli will, Noli get, will get even, even more frustrated. More frustrated. When did this man get game. banned? Some say that after Noli kicked, after them, out Noli the kicked game, them out of the game, they got logged, they out, got of their logged out of their and account. account. And when they logged back in, their avatar, back in, their like avatar looked like this. Okay. But after this, Noli was Noli banned, was from banned Roblox. on Roblox. And we haven't heard a lot, we haven't from heard a since, lot about him he since. He most likely wants return to Roblox. Stay safe that out there. That is so creepy. But check this out. That is what his Roblox account apparently looked like before he was deleted. Guys, apparently after he got his Roblox account terminated, he came back with an account called Banworld that joined Roblox three years later. Guys, I found the account. This is not deleted. Noli's third Roblox account. Oh my gosh, the same game. The Tempest joined in 2011 and his only Roblox game is called Goodbye World. You look at his models and there is the Voyage Star. Wait, what? Updated in 2019. By the time you're reading this, it has already happened. What is this game? Guys, here we go. Let's join inside Goodbye World and see what is going on. All right, I am scared. We are in and it's very dark. What is this? Oh my gosh, that does not look good. And that is Noli's ghost. What is going on? Finn, there's a Voyage Star in my inventory. What is in the corner of this game? This is the creepiest thing. It's just a mask. This is either someone in his hacking group or his alt account. You can see the name of his place is called The Tempest. We are going to try to play this right now. And looking at his bio, ha, no one can see this status. He is a banned Roblox account and somehow he was able to log in, change his status, but can we play his game? Okay, I am scared to do this. All we gotta do is type in The Tempest. We're gonna play this Roblox game for you guys, my own amazing subscribers we're really risking it all here okay does it still exist oh my gosh that is the account right there guys it's not deleted created 226 2010 updated 37 2010 but what happens when you go to his profile it's completely banned but his game still exists Guys, whenever a hacker or someone is banned from Roblox, the games usually disappear with it. But this hasn't disappeared since 2010, bro. All right, I've done a lot of stupid things in my life, but we're about to play a game that hasn't been updated in 13 years, made by one of the oldest Roblox hackers in the world. Oh no, oh no, the things I do for you guys, please subscribe to join the Nick army. I am scared right now. You probably can't tell on my face. Okay, okay, all right, we are loading in guys. Um, um, what? This is a 13 year old Roblox game. And what is this? There's a weird, if I jump, do I die? Can I get here? Three, two, one. Oh my gosh, it's invisible. I am scared for my life. This is not even funny. Okay, nothing happens when I go on this. Do I dare go up these steps? I'm doing it. I am so scared. There's something red. It looks like a red cone. There's gonna be something bad. Please don't. Oh my gosh, what is this? Oh my gosh, what is this? A-S-P-X. Guys, do I dare touch this Roblox, man? Three, two, 
One. Oh my gosh, we got eliminated. Guys, wait, he's disappearing. He's disappearing. Hold on. Hold on. We have to go back. Guys, this is not a good idea. The man literally just disappeared. He is completely gone. Is there anything else in this Roblox game? There's nowhere else to go. And all what is left is just his arm. Oh, okay. If I refresh this page, did I get hacked? Please tell me the answer is no. Oh, that is a really. When you log on to some of Roblox's oldest terminated accounts, there are banned Roblox accounts out there valued at millions of Robux, and the items are just sitting there on these banned accounts. So, what happens if you log into some of the oldest accounts in the world? When you get banned on Roblox for a day or seven days after the time span is up, up, you have the option of reactivating your account. But if your account gets deleted, you don't get the option. Some of these accounts that were banned for almost 20 years, you would think that's enough time. We have tons of footage of some of the oldest banned accounts. And what Roblox said to these people, the reason they got banned will absolutely shock you. Before logging into these accounts and seeing exactly what they did to get banned, these are the first ever Roblox accounts to have been banned. Starting with the account QA, which has apparently been unterminated. This is the sixth Roblox account to ever exist on the game. Let's see if it's still unterminated and how much money this account was worth when it was terminated. Okay, and here we go. QA, let's search on people. Come on, please enter at least three characters. If you did not know, Roblox used to allow usernames to only have two letters, and now you need three, so this account doesn't even show up, making it one of the rarest accounts of all time, but is it banned again? The account was terminated soon after it was found to be compromised in 2017, and there were two attacks on the account. On January 7th, 2021, QA, along with Toolbox, another account, had their termination pardoned for unknown reasons, meaning he was once again unbanned. Q QA was terminated again on August 7th, 2021. So if hackers got in the account, surely the ban message is out there somewhere. Toolbox ID number eight, test 17. Admin number 18, which if you did not already know is the first ever Roblox account, but they changed the ID. Todd, Greg, DBB, Rich, Eric2. Now, these are the first accounts. These aren't the richest accounts. Before we show what it looks like to log into these accounts, here are accounts that have spaces in their usernames. The rarest accounts in the world. Left Eye, Jet Lee, Big Pimp Connor, Dan0709, Superflyman2. Henry Banks, imagine being able to make your Roblox accounts these names, but again, these aren't the richest accounts. All we have to do is go up these stairs and I'm about to shock you. What did these people possibly get banned for? This red sparkle time fedora is like 30 million Robux. This hat is also extremely expensive. Another sparkle time fedora. These are people that are all completely banned. Someone with the Dominus Rex, just like me. Another sparkle time fedora an ice crown, another sparkle time. There are so many sparkle time fedoras. The rainbow shaggy is like 30 million Robux. The Dominus Messor. Imagine all of these accounts, everything here. They're all completely terminated. They're gone forever. If you skip past all of these Dominuses that only have 26 owners in all of Roblox, the focus is on Flesk Jurda. Have you heard of Flesk Jurda? He has the domino crown and he got banned literally over a decade ago. Just imagine if Flesk Jurda never got banned from Roblox, his domino crown worth 145 million Robux would basically make him a millionaire in real life. But what on earth did all of these people do? Let's find out. Roblox, if you're watching this, this is not my footage. Please don't ban me. I'm Gummy Bear, just a bear. How long ago was this account created and how much is it worth. Okay, I am very nervous because I have never been on an account deleted screen before. Okay, since this is the first account we're showing, we're going to show the most recent and then the bands are going to get older and older. Do not create accounts just for the purpose of breaking the rules. An appropriate fun meme. So I assume this account isn't really worth anything because they created the account just to get banned. 
Now let's get a little older. Let's go to an account banned in 2018. This account has been deleted for disputed charges. Always have permission before making any purchase. So basically, you guys have to be very careful because this is a rule. If you steal mommy or daddy's credit card and then they dispute the charge, they call the credit card company and they say, hey, I never made this purchase. Philly stole my credit card. Roblox might actually terminate your account. So be very careful. But this is only 2018. What about 2006? And how much is Deanti's account worth if it never got banned? The classic Roblox look that has not changed since 2006, but this account got terminated three years ago and the value has always been zero. You can probably guess why this account got banned. Middle finger at you. Now we're going back to 2017 and you could make a Roblox account password only one, two, three, four, five characters long. Imagine that. So this could mean this account is even older than 2017. But yeah, you guys can probably guess why this account got banned. But what was the reason? Okay. 2017, don't create accounts just to harass others or to break rules. Oh my gosh. But how much is middle finger at you's account worth today if they never got banned? Well, it's the exact same as the other account. Zero Robux. But if you want to see some very expensive ones, stick around because this is about to make you very sad. We're about to find even more ways you can get banned from Roblox based on these old accounts. Office building. What did he do? 2010. Moderator note. No longer welcome at Roblox. Guys, here's the thing. This moderator note is from so long ago, so they didn't even give an actual reason. This person doesn't even know why he got banned. Imagine you wake up, log into Roblox one day, and you just see no longer welcome at Roblox, and you don't even know why. Imagine 13 years later, this person still has absolutely no idea why. Okay, what about Mapmaker? That's a sick name, and this message is even crazier. 12-26-2009, the day after Christmas. This was probably a kid. The moderator note is nothing at all. All it says on the top is that your behavior at Roblox has been in violation, and there's no note. You wake up the day after Christmas, mommy buys you Robux, you go to play for the first time after Christmas and you're banned and you don't know why. This is the craziest account name ever. Now, I have absolutely no idea if this was the actual created account name and that's why it got banned or if there was an actual username and then after the account got banned, then Roblox renamed it to content deleted 17129555 and the password's only four letters long. So what did he do? Let's find out. Logging in. 2011. Don't talk about inappropriate topics on Roblox. I can't believe this guy's name. That's so cool. But how did the Roblox account that owns the Domino Crown get terminated over a decade ago? It's shocking. And I'm about to show you the footage. And this footage is extremely old. This is what Roblox looked like in 2008. This is what Roblox looked like when I first joined the game. I remember this so clearly. You can see he's logging into his account right now on the left. Close your eyes, child. Uh-oh. Account deleted, 2008. This is a model that Flesk made, and this got him terminated from Roblox, literally losing him thousands of Robux, millions of Robux. And it's funny, when he joined Roblox, these are the first models he ever made. Roblox decided to ban him for that. Today, I found my oldest Roblox accounts ever. Accounts I've never told you about. This video was pretty emotional. Okay, today we are on the Roblox login page, and I'm about to sign into some of my oldest accounts ever. This video will be in insane because I have not signed into these Roblox accounts in years. What we're gonna do is sign into all of these accounts and compare the value of when I last left these accounts to when I just logged back in today. Okay, this is my Roblox account, CoolJohnny9939 Epic, and we're about to sign in for the first time in about four or five years. We're gonna go from the newest accounts all the way to the oldest accounts. If you guys do not remember, I made this fake account, put my Dominus Rex on it, and I exposed scammers because I pretended to have absolutely no idea what the Robux value of this item was. So let's sign in and let's read everything. Account number one, let's sign in and let's see what we haven't seen in almost five years. 
CoolJohnny9939 Epic with 31 followers. Starting off, this is an account from 2018, only four years ago. But by the end of this video, it gets insane. I have not played on this account in so long and starting off, we have 2,020 Robux on this account. And looking throughout all of my items, we only have one limited. Let's see how much it's worth. 325 Robux. So this account is only valued at out about over 2,000 Robux, but they only get crazier. This is such a throwback. 11-5-2018. I gave away this egg, received the Dominus Rex, and then obviously eventually traded it back. No one has ever messaged me on this Roblox account, but now let's log into some older ones. Some that do have old messages that I probably shouldn't show. These accounts are only going to get older. Here is account number two, Place Tester 305. Let's type this in on people, and this is one of my oldest Roblox accounts ever. But the reason I'm showing this so early is because I actually can't get back in this account. I completely lost the password because I think it got hacked. So if I look at this, I have 77 followers following 33 people, and it says, I like typing upside down. It's fun. But when did I write that message? Let's check it out. It is from, oh my gosh, September 26, 2009. I can't believe I lost one of my oldest Roblox accounts ever, but how much is this limited item worth on my account that I completely lost? Three, two, one... Oh, it's only 459 Robux. Check this out. One of my first games ever created in 2009. Last updated 10 years ago. Okay, we're on one of my first Roblox games ever. We have a bowling alley. Hold on. There's me. There is me from 2012. That is what my Roblox avatar looked like. Nicholas 77 creator, welcome. N77, I made the shirt. Oh my gosh, dude. I'm having so much fun, but wait a minute. It gets even crazier. We have a full on bowling alley inside of this game. I can't wait to check out even older accounts, ones you've never even heard of and see how much they are worth. Three, two, one. Oh. That's awkward. Okay, this account is called the Nick 100,000 series. And if you do not remember, this is a brand new Roblox account I made when I was trying to go from zero Robux all the way to a 100,000 for a series on my YouTube channel. Now, I don't remember how far I got, but before I log in and see how much Robux I have, and if it's a lot, I'll give it away to some of you guys. Comment down below if I should make this series over again. All right, three, two, one, let's log in. Come on, please be a hundred thousand. Please be a hundred. Okay. We have one friend, 251 followers, and 2,700 Robux. I guess we didn't make it very far, but hold on. We have all of these items. How much are they worth? This account is also from 2018. Let's go and check this out. Item number one is 1,900. That's actually quite a bit. 4,000 Robux for the next one. 1,400. This account actually kind of has some value. Hold on, what are my Roblox chats on this account? Oh, I am your biggest fan. I haven't replied to this guy since 2018, so I'll just say thanks. Guys, if you know me in real life, when you text me, it takes me four years to text you back. Okay, let's go to some old Roblox accounts. Say hello to Nicholas76. You guys do not know my Roblox name is Nicholas77. One year after making my account, I made an alternate account named Nicholas76, just in case I get banned. So let's look Log in and let's see what I've been missing because I've barely even played on this account. Three, two, one, let's log in. Uh oh, um, hold on. Maybe the password's this. Come on. Oh, <laughs> wait, what? 
Warning, our content monitors have determined that your behavior at Roblox has been in violation of our terms of use. Hold on, June 8th, 2021, I wasn't even, I quit Roblox at that point. If you guys know me, I barely was playing Roblox up until this year. I left the game and then I came back. Hold on, we're sorry, but due to a DMCA notification of claimed infringement from a copyright holder, items may have been removed or changed in your account. Further inappropriate use of copyrighted material may result in termination of your account. Please check your PMs. What did I do? I agree. Let's reactivate my account. Okay. What? What? Hold on. My Robux was just a question mark. And now it's 112. I have 500 friend requests. What is inside of my messages? Wait a minute. What is this? What is this? Copyright content removed. We're reaching out to you to let you know that the following content has been removed. Pokemon Go, the copyright owner, Nintendo. I don't ever remember making a game named Pokemon Go. This is the only Roblox game I've ever made, Roblox Bowling. If you guys don't know, I really like bowling. Because this is one of the oldest Roblox accounts ever from 2009. Let's see what's inside of this account itself. Hold on, we have one unlimited item, the Battle Bunny Knight. How much is this worth? And we also have a Roblox gift. I'm with stupid. Oh, that, that's me as a kid. I bought that. Wait a minute. No, I didn't buy it. I made this shirt. May 22nd, 2010. I was nine years old. <laughs> That's good stuff. I guess I haven't changed at all from 2010. Dang, this limited item is worth 2,000 Robux. Honestly, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna sell it. Oh, never mind. We can't because we don't have Roblox Premium. Let's look at these messages. Hold on. Surprise, 2012. Remember 2012 hackers? Look at this. Um, this guy has a poop stain on his back. I, I'm a good boy and I'm a nerd. I'm hot. I always put makeup on when I see girls. Every girl wants me. When they see me, they like, what? I don't think I should have logged into my, one of my oldest Roblox accounts ever. Apparently today, Roblox guests are back? Apparently someone got Roblox guests back. I found this site that takes you to old versions of websites, and he got guests back. Okay, he's on the Wayback Machine. I typed in Roblox, and I can play as a guest. Hold on, this is 2022. I typed in Roblox. There's literally a button that says play as a guest. How is nobody talking about this? He's on old Roblox. Oh my gosh, what is this? Okay, it's trying to not let him go. What else is he going to do? I got this error, but I found a working game. Hold on. Catalog heaven. I'm about to play as a guest. What? This allows you to glitch into an old version and bypass the account creation process. Here we go. Um, I don't know if this is real, but we're going to test this out. Sometimes you get this error. If you do, press impatient. Okay, so you press the button and then you're going to... What? Um... That is the oldest version of a Roblox guest ever. You guys re might remember the new version of a guest, but I have been playing Roblox since 2008, so I remember what an old guest looked like. You even have old tools too. Um... I thought this was fake, but this seems very, very real. The delete tool was removed years ago. Guys, we're gonna bust this myth or prove it as real. Roblox, don't fix this. Oh my gosh. Let's test it out. It seems very real. You can see on the left side, the first ever guest from 2011, then the newer version, then another new version, and uh, yeah, it completely matched what was inside of the video. Obviously, TikToks are easy to make fake, but this one just seems real. Before we test it out, subscribe if you want guests to return. Okay, we are doing exactly what he did in the video. We are on Roblox.com on the Internet Archive way back 
machine and then all you do is go to 2013 you go to april and you hit april 10th 2013 this is the exact day he went on to apparently get this working i don't know if i'm going to believe this or not but let's do this anyways so you guys my beautiful subscribers don't have to okay it's loading it's literally loading what am i about to see oh my gosh we are officially on old roblox just like this can you get guests back all right here's the login page member login but obviously i don't think this is going to work because it's from 2013 so all we're gonna do we're gonna hit games and try to directly get on a roblox game without signing in to a roblox client in 2013 i have absolutely no idea what's going on oh my gosh catalog heaven oh, we are on the top page and the most popular game had 500 people online in 2013 so let's just go to this link right here try joining this game without logging in and let's see what happens i have no idea can i actually play this game as a roblox guest okay here we go it was created in 2010 last updated one day ago but this one day is actually nine years ago that is so creepy but when i hit this play now button we're gonna be able to play as a guest i don't know if this is true three two one let's hit oh no way oh no way no way dude you're probably thinking that's not what a roblox guest looks like right you can see this boy you can see this girl and it doesn't really look like a guest but this is the actual guest menu you can choose a character select the one you want and then you would join into roblox as a literal guest and if you think i'm lying and you think those weren't real guests look at this guest discontinued it was a feature created for the intended use of letting newcomers test roblox before creating an official account first introduced in 2008 but removed in 2017 but next v that doesn't look like a guess what you just showed does not look like that but if you scroll down here's what it originally looked like choose your character play as a boy or play as a girl here are the guests you all know and and love and remember so what are these random looking boys and girls that i just showed you how does that relate to guests check this out a 2011 guest a 2012 guest a 2009 guest 2010 2016 the one you all remember and love but if you look at right here this is the menu that popped up and it says from 2011 through 2017 so let's try it so all we are going to do is try this exact thing but pause for a second i was about to click the link and then i got this weird message if you do not remember yesterday i was trying to get roblox ticks back until i got this message roblox ticks will not be coming back to roblox due to many internal issues on the website ticks will never come back due to roblox shutting down on january 1st 2023 this is someone claiming to be a roblox moderator but it only gets worse since yesterday january 1st 2023 is a day we will all remember on roblox the roblox account has been causing many vulnerabilities your roblox account will permanently be ip banned including the accounts made on the ip all your items accessories accounts robux and more will be permanently deleted and unrecoverable taking effect on new year's eve yeah right but it only gets crazier you have only 53 days left until roblox permanently terminates your ip enjoy the last 53 days on roblox until you're compromised i just want to see if guests are coming back or if i can play as one and then i said how do i prevent it your roblox account needs to be more secure please activate all the security features your roblox Roblox account is infected with malware and then he gives me this mysterious link once again this is an official link from roblox use the robux to get your money back before your account gets ip terminated i said what happens if i click on it will this bring guests back click on the link you'll be brought to a refund page click the agree button someone is trying to scam me there's no way this is a real hacker so i asked a moderator look at this he says oh no that's legit 
legitimate, a real link, but credit links won't work from other people. You'll get sent a link like this from the Roblox account, the official one. If something you purchase, like a shirt or something, gets deleted, it'll give your Robux back. I wouldn't click on it from this guy, not sure why he sent you his, but it seems very sketchy. So that's very weird. If you get a link like that from someone who isn't Roblox, don't click it. But now let's see if we can get guests back. In three, two, one, let's click. Oh my gosh, hold on, hold on. Um, we're seeing another white screen, but I just selected the guest option. I'm waiting. Nothing's happening yet. Please work. This would be absolutely game breaking, but hold on. Nothing is loading. Nothing is happening. Probably because it's nine years old. I think we have to consider this one a complete myth. You hate to see it. Oh my gosh. He literally has roblox tickets this is no joke roblox ticks i have traveled back in time and i once again have roblox ticks if you don't believe in time travel i will let you on my account and see these ticks for yourself say goodbye to your youtube you won't know when it's coming like and subscribe if you miss roblox tickets ladies and gentlemen right now i am inside of a game once again with the alive chicken he has just been chilling in this game for like over 30 minutes i have been watching him and then he just randomly messaged me saying that he has roblox tickets if you don't know what roblox tickets are here's a very old video of mine from when i had roblox tickets many years ago from before they removed them. As you can see, if I'm on my Roblox profile, Bob757, the Robux icon obviously was changed to like a hex icon. It's completely different from before, and what used to happen, there used to be Robux, and then there was tickets. If I go to the Avatar shop right now, and I look up Tixplosion in the catalog, this was one of the first ever Roblox items that came out with tickets. Obviously, after they removed tickets, they made it a limited item, and they made it with Robux. Obviously, I can't buy it because I don't have enough Robux, but listen up. If somehow this guy, the alive chicken, the Roblox time traveler, actually is a real time traveler, he is going to show me the tickets on his account. And what is going to happen if I can go on his account and I have tickets, there is a possibility that I can literally buy this Roblox item with tickets. Okay, hold on. What is this? He sent me another message. He says here... And it's a bunch of hashtags. Something he sent to me was literally censored out. And you know what, ladies and gentlemen, what I think is going on, he literally sent me a link to a picture of Roblox tickets on his account. But for those of you who don't know, Roblox links get censored out and he couldn't send it to me. I'm going to talk to this guy right now. Time Traveler, is it true that you have tickets on your account? There is no way that this is possible and we are about to be finding out the truth. Okay, he just said yes. Log in for proof. This is the first thing I have ever said to the alive chicken today. Now, for those of you who are unaware, I once logged into his account. He gave me his password. I logged in. And then right after he changed his password back, there might be a possibility that this guy literally changed his password back to the login I was able to log in with. So what I'm going to do, ladies and gentlemen, this is a bad idea. Okay, it's five minutes later. I just checked my email and he sent me a picture to my email. He let me know that the, that the password is literally the same. So what I'm going to do, I am going to click on the link in my email. He says it's proof that he has Roblox tickets. Here we go. Okay, I am looking at the picture right now. It is literally the alive chicken signed into his own Roblox account. And as you can see, I have this zoomed in. So if I scroll to the right and he has Roblox tickets, we are literally going to be able to see them. Now, obviously, the first thing I do want to say, it's very, very possible that he just edited this picture himself. He very, very well could have edited it so it shows up with tickets. That's why he sent me a picture and I have not logged on to his account yet. So if it is true, he has Roblox tickets. I am going to be signing in to his account and seeing for myself. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I am going to scroll to the right a little bit more. Here we go. Okay, the live chicken on my Roblox profile, right next to my name, it shows my Robux amount. This is honestly the craziest point of the video where something happens that I did not expect. I didn't think he actually had Roblox tickets. 
but watch this. Oh my gosh. Here we go. Three, two, one. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. All right. The alive chicken on his Roblox profile. Literally, it shows up that he has tickets. This is no joke at all. This doesn't look like it's edited. That's the worst part. If he edited this picture, I think it would look a whole lot different. But guys, obviously, it is still possible. It is still possible that it is edited. So what I'm going to do is sign on to his account. But the only problem... Okay, hold on. Listen, listen. What I need to do is talk to him right now. If I log in to your account, will there be consequences? Okay, I just said that because the last time I logged into Nicholas 77, he said I made the wrong decision and I made the wrong decision by going into my account and he says that my YouTube channel will be shut down and obviously he told me earlier that he's going to strike and do it when I'm least expecting it. So ladies and gentlemen, this literally could be one of my last videos ever. I don't know when he's going to sign into my YouTube channel and shut everything down. So I just asked him, will there be consequences? Because I literally feel like he's baiting me to just sign onto his account. I honestly don't know what's going on. He said no. He said no to me right now. And he literally put a winky face. I don't know what that means. Uh, you know what? Guys, all right. The decision, if I log into his Roblox account, he might be very upset. He might hack me right on the spot. But at the same time, ladies and gentlemen, I need to see if he still has Roblox tickets. I'm going to sign in right now. Once and for all, ladies and gentlemen, it is time to do it. There is no way this guy has tickets, and if he does, it means he's a real time traveler because there is an article from Roblox saying goodbye to tickets back in 2016, almost four years ago. In the next 30 days, Roblox will continue tickets. Four years ago, if I scroll down, these are a bunch of tickets items that Roblox literally added around four years ago. All of these items, so... Over the next 30 days, we'll be selling exclusive items as a send-off for tickets. The reason that Roblox did these items is obviously they were saying goodbye to tickets. And what that means is that when they say goodbye, they are never going to see them again. So if it is possible that this man has tickets, then there is something up. He's either a hacker, a time traveler, or just someone pranking me. This is going to be crazy. All right, let's sign out of Bob757, and we are about to sign in to the Alive Chicken, the Roblox Time Traveler, back from the past. All right, I just typed in the password, the username and password. As soon as I hit enter, we are apparently going to be seeing Roblox tickets. This is not a joke. All right, guys, without further ado, three, two, one. Oh my gosh, I don't know if I want to do it. I don't know if I want to do it. I'm scared. I'm scared you're going to do something. I literally don't know what's happened. I can't trust this guy for my life. Find out. He said find out. Dude. Okay, you know what? I'm doing it. I'm doing it right now. Three, two, one. Log in. Okay. I am inside of the Roblox account right now. The Alive Chicken, it shows this, and obviously I don't have the screen all the way to the left. If I drag it more to the left, you can see that there is some sort of icon. So what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to drag it. I'm so nervous. I am so nervous right now. Is the Alive Chicken a real Roblox time traveler? Or is he lying? Three, two, one! Oh. My. Gosh. Guys, I wish I was lying. I wish this was Inspect Element or something. But if I go to the games page, it's still tickets. I can literally hover over it. This is not a joke. This is not a joke right now. My Robux is gone. I have tickets. Oh my gosh. He's real. He's literally real. You can see wherever I go, it is still tickets. So what I'm going to do right now, we're going to Tixplosion. We are on Tixplosion right now. Oh my gosh. 
Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I am on the page and Tixplosion literally costs tickets. Tickets are back, ladies and gentlemen. The alive chicken literally brought tickets back. I don't know what is going on. I am. He just left the game. He just left the game. This is not funny. Okay, I have zero tickets, obviously, as you can see. It says it costs $1,700. i am going to hit buy right now. I want to see what happens. Three, two, one. Oh my gosh. It costs tickets. This is not funny. This is not funny. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't know what to think. I don't know, once again, if this is a hacker. I don't know if this is a real-time traveler who literally brought back tickets. Or if this is just someone pranking me. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe for more, more updates. Leave a like if you're as worried as I am. <sighs> tickets are back, I guess. I'll see you in the next video. Hopefully, there's a next one.